Hi folks, here we are again with another video on, well we're going to do this in the air fryer aren't we? Yes. This is going to be a dessert and it's just some stuff we had laying about, namely some apples and also some blackberries out of our own garden folks, you've been out there picking, you've got all prickly fingers haven't you like I that? I enjoy it. So we got them and she's thought it would be a good idea to have a dessert which is going to be a blackberry and apple. apple crumble made in the air fryer folks Ooh, yeah right so let's just run you through the simple very simple ingredients this folks we have some self-raising flour or plain flour whatever you've got most of and you want to use up some butter some sugar and blackberries and apples the blackberries and apples is optional. I suppose you could use like rhubarb, plums, peaches, whatever you've got, and you want. It's to a crumble. Up. It's a crumble, baby. Or whatever crumble you like. And we're going to do this right now for you. So to save time, she's already peeled the apples yes. and cut them up. And we're just going to prepare the apples first by warming them up in. Can you put them in water. A tad of water because you're going to get all the juices from the apples. You don't want loads of water. Let me go and get your cooker, baby. Good boy. Right, how many apples you got in there then? Three? Three apples. Right, and as you can see, they can go a bit brown if you leave them about. It doesn't matter, it don't affect the flavour whatsoever. But I've heard some people put a drop of lemon juice over them, baby. You can do, but we was going to do it straight away, really. Yeah, so but I was hanging to. about a bit, wasn't I? Yeah, funny enough, I'm waiting for Martin. And you're just going to bring them up until they get a bit mushy. It's a bit softer, and then I will add these, because I don't, want, I don't like it all to be mushy, mushy. Yeah. Right, so let's leave you with that for a minute. Right, we'll be going for about five minutes, folks. Always good to put a lid on, that way they boil down a little bit quicker. Now, as you can see, we've not let them go totally mushy. They're still a little bit firm. And uh, now she's going to introduce the blackberries into there. As you can see, we don't know what the quantity is. You know the size of a dessert bowl. And uh, we just stir them in. You have washed them as well, baby, haven't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we're just going to put them in again, let them mix through and uh, bring them back up to heat as well. And also one thing to notice is that these aren't cooking apples. Cooking apples tend to be a bit more sour, don't they? Yeah. And you have to probably add a lot more sugar. These are eating apples and they're pretty sweet anyway. So that's why we're holding back on the sugar in this mix. The only sugar we're gonna have in this mix is gonna be in the crumble topping, baby. Correct. Right, stir. let's give that a stir. Like you stir me up, baby. Oh, it smells nice. And as you can see folks, them uh, blackberries let go of their juice, baby, didn't they? Yeah. Right, we'll turn that right down low. Yep. Yeah. And just leave that to flip along for a minute. And then you get the crumble. Literally, get the crumble prepared, which is a nice simple recipe. Now again, you're doing this through experience, aren't you? So yeah, how much a... flour? What's that, about half a cup? Maybe a cup actually, that look. Right, so a cup of flour. Good knob of butter. You like a big knob of butter, baby. And you know, when you're doing this pudding, you can add more butter or more flour as you go along. And you're literally just rubbing it together. Is that called cream in it, baby? No, you're just rubbing it to make breadcrumbs. Right. Is it a bit, bit better if you have the butter a little bit colder, baby? Yes. That's right. So she's just mixing that in now, crumbling it together. Again, you don't need a mechanical beater for this. Your fingers are the best thing, baby. And you just want fine breadcrumbs. And I am going to add some more flour. Why is that? How do you know that? Because it's still a bit sticky. Right, so she's just, again, just putting a bit more flour in, folks. Touchy-feely. Is that better? Yeah. And you're looking for a crumbly texture, basically, aren't you, Cheryl? Yeah. I'm gonna have a little look in there. Look. Stir, oh, look at that. You wanna smell that, folks. That smells absolutely wonderful. It could be a bit tart, Sharon. You can actually add some cinnamon if you want to that. If you like cinnamon with your apples and blackberries, add what you want. Well, you can actually now take a little taste and then decide whether it does it need a little bit of sugar, that. Right, I'll have a go and see if it tastes a little bit tart, baby. Yeah, you like a tart. <laughs> Have a little go. Now, what am I tasting? Just the juice? Really taste the juices, yeah. This is my long spoon, folks. Look. Yeah. That's if you've got short arms. No, so my little block of glory I'm still waiting for you to make me. Right, let's have a little go. Look. Let's have a little go. I've got a bit of blackberry here, shall 
And a bit of apple and a bit of the juice. See what I mean? Greed. Got to blow that joint, baby. Got to blow that old tart. Oh. Is it tart? No. I'll tell you what, that's bloody good, Sharon. And that is the reason why we're using eating apples, folks, so we don't have to put any added sugar into it. Right, we're going to turn that off. That's lovely, that is. That don't need sweetening at all. Right, while well, I've been having a go at that tart, Sharon, what have you been doing? Your breadcrumbs, there it goes. You've been thumbing it through, haven't you? Yeah. And there we go, folks. It that's... does resemble breadcrumbs. Yeah, can you see that? Right, we've cooled it down just a little bit, folks. That's all off now, they're cooked. They're not broken up at all. They're still formed, as you can see there, so we didn't make it turn to a mush. Because don't forget, these are gonna get a second cooking, baby, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. In the air fryer. So what do we do now? Do we tip these oh, into there? Yeah, half, and I'll use your spoon there. Use my spoon, baby. So we've just got these two takeaway containers, folks, and all we're gonna do is put half in one and half in the other. Ooh. Oh, look at that. I made a mess. Oh, fantastic. Just spread it about. Look at them, folks. Look at the colours there, them autumn colours in the summer, Sharon. Look. It looks nice, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? Right, so what's the next phase then? So we're happy with that. You've got a bit on the back there, look. Oh, hang on, I've got a bit don't there. Let it go, don't let it go to waste. No. On the back, look. Sharon, it's still on the back. It's doing my head in. <laughs> right, we're going to add some sugar. Right, where are you putting the sugar? In here. Right, now again, you're gonna just put a couple of tablespoons yeah. in? Yeah. Or desserts, a couple of dessert spoons. Just sort of stir it round so it gets all around there. Because that will actually crystallise a little bit, won't it? Yeah. Right, and all you're gonna do now is literally, literally... Spoon it over. Just spoon it over, folks. Look. Just go easy with it. And that will also suck up some of that juice as well, Sharon, won't it? Yeah. We all have a crumble. Oh, well, I love a crumble anyway. I don't understand. And you've just seen how easy it is why they've made ready-made crumble in packets. I yeah, well, understand. and it doesn't no, taste nowhere as good. The trouble is, Cheryl, it's not only that in the uh, mass-produced ones, there's loads of other sulfates and uh, chemicals in, mm. and uh, preservatives and stuff because they need a shelf life. You see, that's the reason we don't need a shelf life because one of them, if we don't eat the other one, we can freeze it, can't we? So in, this is stuff you have indoors. Yeah. Right, so there you go. You're just going to smooth it out a little bit. Now, you're going to just sprinkle a little bit of sugar yeah. on the top because that will help with the caramelisation, folks, when it goes in the air fryer and make the surface nice and crunchy. You imagine a nice custard with that, chef? I can eat that on its own. Yeah. I don't need custard. Now, it's optional. You can put a little bit of butter on the top there as well, can't you? Butter dot dotted about yeah, it. we're not going to do it in this case, but you can do that to make it a bit more luxurious, folks. And it also helps with the colouring up as well. Right, so we've never done these in the air fry before, folks, but um, so we're unsure of the time. So our experiment means that you can uh, learn from what we're doing. So she's gonna put them in there and we're gonna try it. It's 180 degrees for 12 minutes, we're gonna try it. She's matched them both up together. You can do that in the, uh, the Ninja AF400. And we'll see how that goes. Right, here we go, folks. 12 minutes and 180 degrees C and they're looking absolutely lovely. So baby. Shall we put some on the plate? Oh, we've got to really, haven't we? Come on in, cut a bit out. Now that is crumbly. That is crumbly, folks. My crumbles oh. always are though crumbly, aren't they? It is steaming as well, look at that. It is steaming, folks. Right, I said it's only fair, folks, that we should make a little bit of custard up. This is just the instant custard. We're making proper custard. There we go, whack it in there, baby. Hope it ain't too thin. That's the thing with instant custard, you can make it in no time. Just got to boil the kettle shell, haven't you? Yeah. Right, that's my little bit there, folks. Just drizzle it over mine. Go on. Oh, look. Oh, yes. That'll do. Oh, look at that, folks. How about that? That's that's going to be wonderful. Well, here we are again, folks. Another taste test. I'll let you go first, baby. Thanks. I know, I know you you can't wait to dip into this, and I want to know what you think. Well, I'm going to like it because I've made it. <laughs> mm. 
Is it not a tart enough? Is it alright or what? Tell me. It's fine and my crumble always reminds me of shortbread biscuits. Yeah, well I wouldn't know that taste. until I dip in and have Can a you go. dip in? Go on. I'm going to get a spoon folks. She has it raw, not without custard. I have it with custard or cream, whatever. Right, here we go. Come a bit more shoulder room, baby. Here we go, folks. I've got a little bit of everything on there. I'm going in. Oh my God. Oh, 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 oh. oh, you could not have it with a uh, without custard, baby. I, I don't crumble? know. Let, let me have a go at that crumble, crumble with it as well, Sharon. Oh, it's just waiting for me. Look, here we go. Look, and again. Drowning by yourself. Now you want to blame me. Like you have no options. I take your options. Now I'm not the problem. Oh, you know that, yeah. That is lovely, Sharon. And again, made out of meagre ingredients, blackberries from the garden shell, mm -hmm. three leftover apples, a bit of flour, which we've all got in the cupboard, and not a lot of sugar, folks. Let me just tell you that, Sharon. Not as much sugar as other people put in because we didn't use cooking apples. We used normal eating apples, which are naturally a lot sweeter than the cooking apples. Just a little tip for you there, folks. And that tastes absolutely divine. Oh. Well, baby, that was fantastic. The trouble is, we've eaten dessert before we've eaten the main course. There you go. You can't go back to savoury at savoury after you've had sweet, apparently. Who says? But you're sweet enough anyway, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Well, thanks very much, folks. Hope you've enjoyed that one. Uh, don't forget to check out our other videos. We do put out free food videos a week and also our Sunday vlog where you can chat with us in the chat box live at 8 pm in the evening, Sunday evening. There is a chat box, it is a recording of the video of what we've been getting up to throughout the week and it goes out on Sunday evening at 8 o'clock. Thanks for all your support on our channel. The channel seems to be doing pretty well now and we're happy with that and we're putting a lot of work to bring more content to you on this channel than what we did before. Anyway baby, she finished it! Yeah, you know why? Because I'm bleeding talking too much Sharon. Yeah, because you always talk too much. Hey, well if I didn't talk Sharon, I'd just be mute, I'd be standing there saying nothing. Is that a good thing? Anyway, thanks very much folks, we'll see you in the next video, and until then, bye for now. Bye. You're not having that bit. I don't want it, put custard on. <laughs> <laughs>